Last time on Kritnit. After finishing the ritual plant growth, no one's kitty cats were sent to retrieve the dim root, or more like, one collecting while the other tried to catch up. While they dashed to the forest, Gaspar, Parker, Cruz, and myself began the battle with the East Wall. Walls of fire were cast, and many measures were taken to hold this beast back. But it wasn't enough to stop the Grawl from corrupting Jerry and sending him against his own party. What will no one's heroes do? Stay tuned to find out. Sometimes happens, we get really into our play session and we just keep playing instead of stopping to start a new episode. This is one of those times. So uh, enjoy as we pick up with Parker's turn as we battle the Igral Sincrad. Which leads to Parker's turn. Uh, this, so this will be the third and final casting of Sleep. I've also forgot that I was upcasting this, so I re-rolled, I didn't re-roll, um, rolled the additional 2d6 per time I cast it. So this last casting will be for 25 HP, and then to make up for the, all the ones I didn't, it'll be another 17. 25, 17, uh, 42. And that's plus the original 34 as well. Yeah, so 76. Okay. Uh, so, with that being said, I will release the spell so that way... The only person or creature that can be affected is the, the girl. Okay. It hits the girl and you begin to see it sway hard back and forth and continue to stand. Six HP. Oh. Okay. Okay, that ends my turn then. I try to put it to sleep. You were very, very close. And you still may succeed. This pool gradually dis diminishes per turn. Kumbal, you have gathered the dim root. How far away is Walter? He's at the lake now, or the river now, like, looking at you. Turn him into a tabby cat and throw him. <laughs> <laughs> that is my question to you, Walter. Are you going to finally listen to the faster one and just go tiny forms so when we get close enough, I can just hurl you back to your master? Would that suit you? He's offended because I'm not his master. <laughs> Obviously, we are never going to see eye to eye. <laughs> Shouldn't have read my journal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can read Walter. She said some nasty things about you in that journal. Walter, knowing what, exactly what she wrote in the journal, just looks at you, just shaking its head like, really? Really? No, I am a terrible liar, but I do tell a lot of lies. So that makes up for it. Anyways, I am wasting time. See you later, Walter, and I will book it. No! And you eat. Okay. Uh, well, you officially have the dim root. Alanya, it is up to you. Okay. Sweet. All right. So, okay. Gascar. Mm. Do you have bullets? Yes. Can I use them? Yes. Okay, I need a handful. I hand her a handful of bullets. I'm going to use them to cast flame arrows at it. Uh, mm -hmm. It's ammunition. Yes, it is. Frack, it is. Okay, roll to hit. Eight. These are bullets, and as you kind of lay out your hand, they're facing in very funky directions. They're not like an arrow that you can kind of like hold out and aim. One of them just pew, shoots like far to the left like a firecracker. That probably won't catch things on fire. Do I have a proficiency bonus? Yeah. Plus three, so that doesn't do much much good. 
It's just 11. Phew! It's a little bit closer, but still about eight feet off. <laughs> well, there's 12 of them, by the way. You can cast up to 12. Got it. Okay, so you have that for 12 more rounds. Yeah, it says extra one. Uh, the target takes an extra 1d6 fire damage when one successfully hits. Okay, good to know. All right. Um, well, are you going to move? Uh, there is a rather scary dark fire elemental in front of you and Gaskar. Alanya, you need to get to Umval. How far away is Umval from me? You don't know. You don't see him. Well, Walter, Walter knows. knows. <laughs> oh, okay. Walter, Walter sends back to you. Hey, the fracking cat just ran away from the river, so he's on his way back. You'd surmise he's about 200 feet away. Okay. Cruz, Gaska, Paka. I am going to turn into a saber tooth. I, uh, um, I need you to keep it distracted, and I'm just going to start running in the direction of Walter and Humval. Well, would that even do anything, though? Because, like, if I go to him, like, I mean, like, it's going to take him the same amount of time for me to him to, like, run back with it. He's probably faster than me anyway. But you also have the other dim root vials, so perhaps you guys can quickly craft it. Oh my god, I will ride Walter and like squish him into a vial while we go. Done. <laughs> okay. I mean, you are a saber tooth tiger nonetheless right now, so. Okay, sweet. Well, I'm gonna start running towards uh, Humval then. Okay. I will. I will rule that you were on the other side of Gaskar, at least the ten feet beyond Jerry, who will not get the opportunity to attack on you as he ran up particularly to Gaskar, and you will escape. Sweet! All right. Alanya disappears into the woods. Cruz, the Agral, has sent its minion to do its work. It turns to you, who just burnt it to a fiery crisp with your fresh new flame breath. Don't worry, it has 23 hit points. Does a 23 hit? Same as its hit points. It has reach, oh. which is why it didn't get the opportunity of attack when Jerry stepped one foot away from it, hit it, and then it was when it ran away and broke through that it actually got it. Uh, however, Cruz, that is only 20 points of necrotic damage on you. It rolled low. Ooh. Okay. That hurt. As Walter's, it is Walter's turn as your girl gut punches you and ooh. Because of that, it will take its movement and occupy your same square. You also need to make a dexterity saving throw once again. Okay, come on. Give me some good luck. Ooh, sweet. That's a dirty 20. You are still able to resist its ability to engulf you. All right. Walter. Behind Humboldt. <laughs> running as fast as he can, realizing that it had no need to actually come upon this journey. Nope. As it has done nothing. Nope. Hey, hey, Walter has let me know what's up and how much dim root we got, just in case. So you know what? He hasn't been completely useless. Thank you. Yay, good job, Walter. Good job, little kitty. <laughs> hey, it's good to know what's going on both sides. He's a kitty radio. No, nah, that's actually really... He's a kitty radio. <laughs> that is Walter's title from now on, is kitty radio. Uh, I, we got to spin this as like a walkie talkie somehow, like a walkie kitty. <laughs> he just bends his ear in whenever he needs to talk and it flips up whenever he doesn't. Ah, uh, yes. The little known cat ear antenna. <laughs> well, he does have whiskers like those got to be, you know, receiving signals. Yeah. Which then leads to Gascar. What are you doing? Well, I have got a vial of dim brute in my hand. Where did you get that? Did you take it off Alanya? I gave it to him a while ago. Yeah, Alanya gave me one. Oh, you gave another one. All right. Yeah, I have I have another one. Hold up. All right. Just make sure. <laughs> Just make sure I'm counting. I'm keeping them track. So uh -huh. am I. Yep. Keep counting. <laughs> yep. You're good at it. Because we trust your counting. <laughs> <You're Back off>. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, what number are we at now, Sawyer? Fine, I do. Whatever he says, divided by two. We're on episode number 19. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With the vial of um, that I have in hand, I open it 
and throw it at Jerry. D- did you just say you opened it and threw it at him? Well, would that make sense? How far away is he? Oh, he's right there. Yeah. He's right oh, okay. there. Five feet. Okay, I was at like, him. that's gonna oil. It's just gonna dump everywhere. Jerry is right <laughs> up in my business. And I can't outrun Jerry. I know this. Oh yeah, no, that's this is this is probably Gascar's like one chance at not dying right now. Ah, okay. Um Valia, please let this work. Bring Jerry back. Okay. Roll 4d6. Okay. Four. Four. Three. And four. So 15. 15 is enough. Oh. As you overcome his remaining HP by half, you are able to purge the darkness from Jerry as the light hits it. You can almost vaguely hear a voice whispering out from around you. I am doing my best. And the darkness shatter off of Jerry, though Jerry himself now at this falls to his what would look like knees in weakness. Jerry, get back into your it, get 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 back into this and I hold up the little canister that has a chunk of coal in it with the door open okay lifting his head up you can see him like falling apart as he does but he reaches a broken flame tendril to the tip of it and kind of slouchingly falling over gets sucked into it and I um begin running off in the direction that Alanya took off. Oh, Gascar okay. didn't die. <laughs> Cruz, what do you do? Cruz, it's time to finish the fight. <laughs> I'm gonna just straight out attack him. Okay, uh, roll to hit. Uh, that is a 19, a dirty 19, but a 19. 19 will hit. Uh, roll percentile. That is an 80. <laughs> 80 will hit. Yes. Do damage. That is six plus six. So that is 12 damage. And then I'm going to action surge and hit him again. Okay. Roll the hit. Oh, roll the hit. Roll damage. What am I doing? Oh, that's a 10. <laughs> not counting. 10 does not hit. See, I'm not the only one. Ha <laughs> ha. Vindication. <laughs> All right. 10 does not hit. Are you going to move or do anything else? He has reach. No, I'm not going to move. Uh, <laughs> he has reach, but he can't attack up close. He can only like try to absorb me. So does that absorption work if I move five feet away? You are right now 10 feet from him because you're attacking at reach. Another 5 feet and it will attack you. Then I ain't gonna move. Okay. Uh, Cruz, you end your turn. Of which you will take his legendary action to hit you anyway. Ah, legendary actions. That's a natural 19. Yeah, that hits. For a 25. Uh, well, with a 13 plus 6 for 19, 19 necrotic damage as it just reels back and another tendril shoots out and stabs right into you. Okay, I can take that. What are you sitting at? Two. Two HP. Cruz, you are having a hard time staying in the air. I am having a hard time. He still has HP. Correct. I'm saying a hard time, not the fact he has not which Jerry is the next person who is pretty out of commission right now, lest he want to do anything in particular. Nope, Jerry is out of the fight, I think. Okay, Parker, it's up to you. How far away is Cruz from me? Uh, from you, he is 50 feet. 50? Hmm. You were over with Alanya. Yeah, I know. Everyone was 60 feet from the opposite end. And he cruises five or ten feet at reach, so fifty feet. I want to grab the the creature's attention. 
I tried to distract it away from Cruz. How are you going to do so? Um, that's a good question. I, uh, I'm just going to like rake my bow across my violin strings, making obnoxious and obscene sounds from it. <laughs> okay. Trying to get in and just draw its attention away from like Cruz and them and toward me. Okay. Um, roll a performance check. You got this. Uh, with a 10 on the die, that is a 18. 18? You're just raking your violin. It seems as though one eye from the agrawl shoots over to the side of its head as its other purple eye also kind of locks in on you. Well, it, I said it'd take me two turns to get there, and it'll take me two turns to get back. Well, what's the difference between you and Alanya now? Because she started running towards you. So Alanya ran 80 feet in. Crew, or, uh, Humval, you stopped, ran, dashed, moved. So that is 130 feet, correct? 135. You guys would actually just be meeting in the middle. You'd have about 20 feet left before, as you guys hit each other. Smack! You hit each other just BAM! Who, who clotheslines who? I mean, she is a saber-toothed tiger as well. So, I mean... So, 60 feet of dark vision, I see a saber-toothed tiger coming <laughs> after me. I'm like, oh, I'm sad of it. <laughs> 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 I think Hoonval wouldn't be like, well, crap, another tiger. He'd be like, oh, look, a friend, a brother in arms. Uh, I will actually stop much further back than my full movement, and I will spend my standard action declaring a dodge. Okay. Fair, <laughs> fair enough. Fair enough. Because uh, no one has told me about the saber tooth. Correct. Which is why when she specified that, I know that's why. So uh, the saber tooth, Alanya, what do you do? Okay, so as I come up, to Harval and I see him dodge when I wasn't even Harvall? intending on attacking Harvall. him. Hardy uh, har. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Hardy har, har. Okay, so when I come running up to Humval and I see him dodge when I had no intentions of attacking him, I'm gonna shave shift back to me and just start laughing for a second and be like, okay, where's the dim root? I'm still laughing as I say that because I can't help it. Like, <laughs> he's, he's not funny. I'm laughing out of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm fairly certain you have been eating something far worse than the mood. But it is in the bag. Go ahead, take it. All right, where, how far away is Walter? <laughs> uh, Walter is 80 feet back. Oh my god! Why do you, why do you even have him turn into a tabby cat and carry him? He refused. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Looked you dead in the eye and said, no way. Can I ride on Hoobal's back? And I can just start squishing stuff and he can run with me? Because I probably can't run on two legs as fast as Hoobal can. <laughs> uh, that depends. How heavy are you? I'm only, like, Alanya is... What did I put down? She is... It's on here somewhere. Less than 100 pounds, guaranteed. Yeah, she's tiny. Oh, she's... There's no way. I put... Oh, because also, she's 120 pounds with all her equipment and everything. 120 pounds? Yep. I'm putting a lot of trust in you. My backpack holds most of my weight, and I will drop it, free freeing up 80 pounds so I can carry Alanya. Okay. Alanya <laughs> becomes your new backpack. I All right, sweet. And as he's running, I'm going to start squishing the dim room, putting it in a vial. <laughs> Do not turn into another cougar. Backpack, and then arms go underneath the legs. I piggyback it in, because Hoomball got the hips. Or she's up on your shoulders, freeing up her arms yes! to be squishing the dim root as she goes. <laughs> what are you more comfortable with, Hoomball? You are now a backpack. I can deal with things in front of my face. Okay, perfect. So I'll do that. I mean, come on. Have you, none of you guys got a piggyback before? Just put your knees around his like, yep. <laughs> waist, wrap your arms around his neck, and just go. Like, come on now. Well, just the fact that you have a knife so close to his throat is also kind <laughs> of... Uh, because you, you are also juicing and squishing this dim root extract using a knife, so... Yeah, this is Tuesday. Just hold my legs, and I'm just gonna, like, kind of balance on your back and do this while you just hold my legs like a backpack and just take off running. We're good. 
I can use my upper body strength to hold myself straight. You will be able to juice two of these per round. Okay. All right. With the Lanya done, it is the Agrawl. Now, the Agrawl, having noticed Parker's presence, will begin to make his way towards you. Cruz, I need you to make one more dexterity saving throw, please. As he will move through your square. Oh, man. Oh, God. Come on, give me good luck. Oh, that's a nine. That's bad. Is that nine total? Yeah. You have a chance. You have a chance, though. Six points of necrotic damage. Yeah, I am knocked out. Well, as it passes through you, you feel as if your life force is being sucked from your body. And as it throws you kind of to the side, you are out and you impact the ground. As you are 10 feet up, you also take six points of fall damage landing on your head and the agrawl. Can that be non-lethal? Oh, I mean, there's nothing vital in Cruz's head. (laughs) (laughs) I solidly agree. Ah, fair enough. You land right on your horns and you are just stuck in the ground like a lawn dart. My horns are curved. Oh, no. I guess I would get stuck in like a lawn dart. Yep. He spikes you in the ground and then the agrawl runs or floats, hovers straight over to you, Parker, covering only actually no covering 80 feet with a dash and also attempting to envelop you. Please roll a dexterity saving throw. 10. 10. You take one point of necrotic damage, but you're also enveloped, which means you are blind. Okay. Which then leads to Gaskar. No, Walter. Excuse me. Walter's a a thing still. Uh, Walter bounds up to you, Humval. He is right next to you, panting. (laughs) Carry my cat, please. (laughs) Please. (laughs) Hello, Walter. I see that uh, you have finally shown up. <laughs> he glares at you. I was the I was the speed of humans. He growls at you. Do not take that tone of voice with me. It swears in cat. I do not speak your language. Do you though? I only speak <laughs> the language of speed, of which you do not have any fluency in. It swears in all dialects of Tabby it can think of. And if you didn't have a Lanya on your back, it it would be doing bad things to your face. But you have a Lanya, so he's not going to do it this time. But next time, you better watch out. Uh, Gaskar, you have also seen this. You are 20 feet behind them. I have seen them all congregate together? Yes. Okay. I am going to keep going that away and see if I may be of service with getting more dim root made yes! quickly. Okay, you reach there in a movement action. You still have your action. Alanya, you can just toss a couple to him and have him start juicing them as well as if you'd like. Okay. How many do okay. I have juiced at this point? Just two? Two. Okay, so... How many can Gaskar juice per turn? Two. Okay, so I'm definitely going to throw you, like, I'm going to throw you four. Let's do this. Okay. I get juicing. All right. You guys are carefully cutting through the turnip-like root fruit and dumping it into the vial waiting below. Very good. Uh, This leads to Cruz. Please make me a death saving throw. (sighs) Mind you, you also have one failed death save because you took damage when you were so unconscious. Five. Cruz, you are down two failed death saves. Jerry is out of the fight. Parker, it is up to you. I'm blinded. Um, so can I cast the cantrip light on myself? I would just touch, I would touch like my, my vest jacket that I'm wearing. 
as you tap that, it begins to glow brightly around you just for the briefest of moments. You see around you these just writhing spaghetti-like tendrils constantly moving around you. You see one of those long nails pass by your head. It seems as though this creature is just constantly moving around you. And then things just begin to once again fill with the darkness and you're beginning to lose your sight once again. It does allow you to see outside of the Agrawl, but it again lent you a little bit of insight as to what this creature might be on the inside. With the limited vision that I had, was there any way I could see which direction uh, Cruz was in? No. Just run! Run! Force, run! Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run. <laughs> run, Force! Run, B, run! Okay, which way do you run? You want to call it a D6. Roll uh, a D6. It's a solid one. Uh, well, as Parker is escaping, he takes 21 points of necrotic damage as you leave its threatened square and it incurs an opportunity of attack of which it stabs you in the back. But you ran in the direction of the fainted cruise that you can see uh, laying away from you 30 feet. Okay. There's only one option. Use his body as a shield. <laughs> <laughs> only one option. Eat his body. <laughs> um, I will, well, well, that's it because I've already used my action to cast light and then I have movement. So I All right. am done. Humval, it is up to you. Um, where are we going? Straight into the Think of it, or depends. How many would we have? Uh, yeah, two, and then we get my turn four, six. Oh god, can we hide and do this? I know whom Val can hide. I can hide. Oh, you know what? Can I talk with plants and be like, get like Alania can get kind of frustrated and kind of like be like, would you just like go faster? And it kind of like just squishes. Do you have speak with plants? I do. Uh, please roll me an intimidation check <laughs> to immediately force all these Dimroot to immediately juice themselves Wait, out of well, fear. Wait, hold up. We gotta make sure vials are up underneath that before they just squish everywhere. Hey, that would probably be a good idea. But I only have one in my hand. Would it really do it to all of them? Uh, I mean, unless you want to cast it over and over and over again. Wait, no, it lasts for a minute. I mean, you could intimidate them. Okay, here, here, here. How about this? You can hold, you can hold your turn, and then when both Humval and Gaskar can assist you in simply laying out the vials with the dim root, you can then make your intimidation check to make them instantly juice themselves. Okay. Okay. And this will take care of the remaining eight. So one turn faster than you'd be able to do it normally. Okay. Or here is the, the, the thing is that does potentially slow us down by three turns. Because if you fail this intimidation check against plants. What happens? Then we don't juice anything for those three rounds. Oh, you're right. But it could also free up Parker, or it could also free up Gaskar and Humval to be doing other things. Because I, I will actually allow you to set them out, as it's not that hard to just use your bonus action and action to just set them out under vials, if you want to allow them. Well, I only have plus one for intimidation, so... But they are plants. They are plants. The DC is also not they, that high. And they have witnessed okay. us now squish four of their brethren. <laughs> Yes, which has reduced the DC by four as it's watching them all die. Like, <laughs> Okay, sweet. Then I'll do that. I'll wait for my turn then. Sweet. Okay, okay, okay. Cool. Okay. They're just curious. Uh, Humbala, it was actually your turn now that we've determined what Alanya is doing. Uh, what are you doing? Sorry. Well, I, I believe uh, we are stopping to make bottled water. Actually, that is a good point. Since yeah, you, you guys, guys did tie. Going. Yeah. You guys did tie on the initiative. If you want Alanya to try to do this and make the check first, you can postpone your turn till after she goes. I can wait. All right, Alanya, make your intimidation check against these dim roots, and tell me what you're going to say to them. 
Say, say, say good things first. Tell Sawyer what you're going to tell him first and make it real good. You never know. This might lower the DC. <laughs> you know what? Actually, you, this can be an intimidation or persuasion check. Just dependent dependent on the flavor because they're both plus one. But what's the flavor? Are you trying to say, please help us? Or are you saying, do it now? Yeah, I'm, I'm, she's, she's more going to like talk nice to nature because that's kind of like her thing. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna do we're gonna do okay, what, But what do you say? Yeah. Well, how how do you? Well, do I have to say roll it? first, or do I have to say nope. it first? Say it first. I'll determine oh. the DC as how how convincing are you of these Dimroot to give up their lives for you? Listen, I need your help to make this draught of daylight. I know it sucks, but it's either that or eventually you're not going to exist at all because I feel like no matter what these fractures are going to collapse together and so it's either that or you just die regardless so would you like to help me yes eh roll your d20 uh, that's all i can think of oh my god it's a four <laughs> well you're gonna die anyway so why not help us man you should have said some along the lines of <laughs> your sacrifice will not go in vain <laughs> i guess that's <was> intimidation <laughs> I'm too frustrated to be nice right now. <laughs> oh god, I'm so nervous. What is there? <laughs> this always happens to me. It makes me look like the most clumsiest druid on the planet. I swear to god. I spent my action squeezing the, the rest of them to death. Okay, you're able to squeeze two of them. <laughs> Which brings your total up to six. I'm exceptionally <laughs> cruel about it. Uh, the DC to pass was set at six. It was originally ten. You killed four of its brethren. It was down to six. And then depending on how convincing you were, it was going to go down from there. But then you just said, fracking, you're going to die anyway, so help <laughs> us. And they're like, no, you're killing our friends. Why would we help the people who are murdering our friends in front of me? What are you doing? Well, now I'm just going to aggressively kill them. <laughs> You just birthed us, like, yesterday, and now you're killing us. Jeez. Yeah, I gave you life. I could take you out. <laughs> oh, how nice of them. <laughs> I'm your mother. I brought you into this world, and I can take you out of it. And now I'm going to. You have no choice now. Yep. You could have you sacrificed yourself. Are your D&D games feeling stale, plain, or downright boring? Upgrade them today with beautiful landscapes, terrifying dungeons, wholesome inns, and vast forests. Draw your players into your own personal fantasy world with Arkenforge. Arkenforge.com provides hundreds of preloaded items for you to mix and match to fully customize your worlds. Use promo code CRIDNIT to get $5 off your purchase today. That's CRIDNIT. C-R-I-T-N-I-T. Hey everybody, this is Chris Cornish, your audiomancer for Critnit. I just want to take a little time out to ask you to do a couple of things for us. Find us on Twitter and follow us if you haven't already. We are at crit underscore n underscore it. Also, if you could please leave us a rating and review on iTunes or Google Podcasts or wherever else that you find us, it would help other people find us and get the story out to others. And speaking of the story, let's hop back into it. Okay, now it is the Agrawl. Parker, you have escaped its clutches. It is exceptionally angry about this fact. Its prey is running from it with no one else around it to really give it much mind. It attacks. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Save, 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 save. That's a nine. Dang. You take four points of necrotic damage. Oh, that's the best roll Sawyer's made all night. <laughs> Does a 17 hit you? Me right now? Yes. 17 does hit, yes. 17 plus 6, 20. You take 20 points of necrotic damage. I am not dead. Uh, I am down. 
dead, dead. You are still dying, but you're still bad. So, you don't have any more hit points. This is not a problem. I want y'all to know that my max HP is 24, and I am at negative 23 then. Talk about the skin of teeth. You're fine. Tis but a scratch. Yes. Look on the bright side. What is Walter doing? Oh, I thought you were controlling Walter. <laughs> I mean, Walter is right now next to you, so he is taking orders from you once again. I'm trying to think, is he can't? Can he help me squish it by like chewing on it? No, because he couldn't put it in a vial. <laughs> Walter, chew this up. I mean, he could chew it with his teeth and then drip it into a vial. We're doing that. I'm gonna toss one to Walter because you know I can't talk to animals or plants. He <laughs> hates the taste of it, but eventually gets one of them into the vial. I smugly look at Walter and wiggle my opposable thumbs. <laughs> okay, so after Walter's turn, you all hear a voice call out from the darkness. Ah! Oh, excuse me. That's a weird ah. voice here in the darkness. Excuse ah! Me. Ah! <laughs> ah! There you are, Puck! What the heck is that?! Is this going to be my favorite person? That is what you hear. Wait. Shout out from the darkness. Did anyone else join you? Who was it? Who, who, who was that? They know you clearly. Or him. They know Parker. It is all a lie. Do not believe anything they scream in the, in the dark. Ah! No, seriously, what is this? It is currently distracting the monster. We should get to work. Um, you should not get close to whatever that is, whoever you are. Do not talk with it. What are you doing? Gascar! Is that you? Who is? Do I recognize this voice? Please roll a history check. Doesn't Harval and I have night vision? Won't we be Harvall. able to maybe see this thing? Uh, I you, do not who, know who you are. Uh, you guys I'm are so more. Sorry. You guys are more than sixty feet away from this particular creature. Thirteen. Uh, thirteen. Oh, no, nope. you. Boom. It knows you, but you can't recognize the voice. Who is that? Um. Uh, you shout um. out into the... Ooh. 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 Bing, tang, wall, wall, bing, bang. Okay. No, he, he's not going to do that yet. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Self-preservation first. Uh, okay, Gaskar, it's up to you. I'm squeezing juice. I'm doing nothing but squeezing juice. <laughs> You're a tinkerer. You can't find a faster way to you do this. You have hammers. <laughs> Not uh, look, lady. Each round is six seconds. Uh, you've given me eighteen seconds to fabricate something. I'm gonna squeeze it. <laughs> All right. Yes, excuses from you as you ask that. Actually, no, 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 no. I I use mage hand again, and I create a, a an additional. Spectral hand to wonderful squeeze. Uh, you conjure the hand using your action, oh, no, I and then the, yeah, you squeeze yeah, one, yeah. and then use it to squeeze one. Therefore, you have now two squeeze still. Uh, Though on your next turn, you can squeeze three. Look, this is the best I can do, and still it is disappointing. Now a spectral hand is also helping juice these dim root. How many do we have juice now? Uh, you have nine. You need three more. Oh. Now, I'm going to ask James, would you mind showing us your next die roll? Your quite literal die roll. Yes. Ooh. One more failed death roll and Cruz will die. Oh. I think meant like a die die. Like It's a fun pun. I'm going to bust out a die I haven't used. I swear, if it's loaded, it's <laughs> load that thing. Please be loaded. <laughs> Don't tell him. Just show him a different dice. <laughs> this is this is the death die here, guys. It rolls nothing but natural ones. I swear, another natural twenty. How does that happen? It's crazy. Yeah, right. All right, James. Let's get let's get let's get that camera. Yep. No, we got to see it. <sighs> nope, there we go. Oh my gosh. Ooh. 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 14. You have one successful death save. You ain't dead yet. Might come back to you. Hey, and two more. It might be a do die. Parker, you also are down. 
Please roll a death saving throw. Yep. What's funny is that you three have no idea this is happening. What nope, is the, nope. the dude doing or the monster doing while we're dying? You guys don't know. It's, it's, it's distracted by that guy going, who's here? What's this? Yep. It's eating someone else now. Yeah, let, let, him eat, let him eat that thing and then we'll just juice the stuff. That's an eight for Parker. So that'll be my, my first failure. Your first failure. All right. Humval, it is up to you. I squeeze two more. Okay. You guys are now up to 11. Alanya, it is up to you. You have one more left to do. I'm just squeezing it. I ain't playing. All right. You have <laughs> successfully juiced all 12 of the dim root into vials. Now you can use, since you only had to do one of them, take the rest of your turn to pour them into one potion bottle, of which the second, the last one is poured in, the entire thing suddenly bursts in a sun-like glow, and you just see radiating out from you sunlight for about a hundred feet in every direction. What does the Grawl do in response? You can't see it. No. Okay. Um, how far away is it from us? Uh, it is 80 feet, but you are still in forested area, so you cannot have like direct line of sight on it yet. Well, it's still around my cabin, isn't it? So I know where my cabin is. Yes. You know where it is, yes. You just can't see it yet. <laughs> okay. I think we should all like start heading that way as fast as we can. How fast can Gaskar move? Um, okay. Gaskar ah. has got 30 movement speed. Um, but you'll see me take a small little glowing blue disc out of my pocket and drop it right where we were before we leave. Okay. Is that it? Yep. Okay. Do we see him do this? Are you trying to do this sneakily? Nope. Okay. Yeah, you all see him drop a disc behind him. What was that for? Let's just say if I need to get back to the spot in a hurry, I might be able to do it. I use this only in grave emergencies. It sounds like a backup plan. He wants to die alone. With Alanya now having made her move, the Agral is up next now. It takes its turn. Now, onward to Walter. Wait, what the hell did it do? We don't know. We can't see it. Wouldn't you like to know? It's baking a cake. Yes, sir. Ooh. I hope it's chocolate. Is it a black forest cake? Because that might wake Cruz up. The cake is a lie. It's just drooling over your body right now. And Parker's. <laughs> all right. It might. Or it could just be sewing all of your clothes together. It could be stealing your eyelids. You don't know. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Actually. No, it goes after Walter. Yep. Nope. Walter. What is Walter doing? Wouldn't Walter be next to me and... Yep. Um... Ooh, here we go. The hard words. What is Walter faster than Gaskar? Yes. Okay. Um, well, I mean, Gaskar, do you want to ride on Walter again? Because he can just run up to you and you can jump up if you want to. Yes. Or he can just keep running. Okay, word. We're doing that. That's what he's doing. Okay. Walter picks up Gaskar by the scruff of the neck like a little baby kitten and just runs. Yes! <laughs> yes, exactly! <laughs> Gaskar is a little bit indignant about this. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, Gaskar, as you grow 80 feet closer through the last 20 feet of broken down and dead trees, you're able to see the Akral and you're able to see right as you stop there, a burst of this grayish light from behind the Akral. Uh, Cruz. You come to immediately. Six points of healing. Do I do I erase my failures and my saves for death? Yes. Oh, good. All right. Now, Gaskar, it is your turn. Um. Oh. Okay. I do what I have failed to do, <laughs> and I keep trying. <laughs> I, I I throw a um. 
a, a fire bolt at uh, the Grawl. Okay, rolled hit. Uh, yeah, 12. That's not going to do it. 12 misses! Yeah. <laughs> I can't hit this thing. Uh, that's fine. But as the fireball goes by, you also hear, What was that? Who are you? Uh, good question. Cruz, Les Gascar, do you want to move any closer? No, I'm being carried by Walter at the moment. I mean, you could be running like your little legs and then Walter could just set you down. And you can go. <laughs> <laughs> I I am still being carried by by Walter. However, I have got a hand on my pocket where my trigger is just in case. Ready to press that in an instant if necessary. All right. Cruz. Oh, uh, no. As I come to. I learned my lesson from the bronze men and the assassins. I don't move. I just crack my eyes open a little bit to see if I can see the monster. But that's what you tried to do with the bronze men, and that didn't hey, work. I was about to say, that's, ex that's exactly what you tried to do. They stabbed you. So you have not learned your lesson. <laughs> Hold on. I know how this works. I can, I can, I can repeat exactly how this was to end. I still have my bronze men sword. As you crack your eyes open, you see a shadowy black needle just suddenly strike you in the face. Yeah, you, you just crack your eyes open from 80 feet away. The Agrawl immediately looks to you. I mean, I don't know if he's around me. I've been knocked out I'm, and I'm trying to be cautious. Okay, okay. So the Agrawl right now, Cruz, as you crack your eyes open, is 80 feet, excuse me, 60 feet away from you. I immediately go 45 feet in the air. You use half your movement speed of 40, so 25, 20 to stand up. You are able to get 25 okay. feet in the air. 25 feet in the air. And now I'm going to assess the battlefield. Okay, there are eight people right now on this battlefield hailing the Agrawl. They all are wearing dark black coats with purple trim. You see each one of them have two daggers out and they are all facing the Agrawl. How far away is Parker? Parker is 30 feet from you. Do I recognize anybody in the coats? Uh, from the back, roll me a history check. <laughs> That's a six. <laughs> Wow, none of you have any idea who this mysterious person who just appeared could possibly be. Dude, in our defense, there's a lot of things happening. Yes, that's true. Oh, I'm not blaming you, I'm just saying. <laughs> Wait, you said there's eight people around it? Yep. Not including us? Nope. I have one med pack left. Can I do some self-med medication? No, you don't have anything to regain HP. I have one med pack left. Yeah, med packs are used for stabilizing creatures, not for Never not mind. for uh, regaining health. Yeah, it's not a potion. It's uh, I'm bringing somebody back from the brink of death. Uh, yes, it's a hey, wrap it around that. That doesn't look good. What you really uh, wish is that somebody had a med pack while you were unconscious. Yes, dead. Yes. Army Rule 101 always uses soldiers' med pack on themselves. Which now leads to Jerry, who I imagine is not going to be doing anything. Just checking. No. Jerry is uh, probably the equivalent of sleeping. What I, 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 what I imagine this looks like is just this faint little ember inside his canister. You come to... Your eyes flicker open. Your chest heaves in a painful breath. And you look to see yourself surrounded by shadowy figures, though they don't seem trained on you at all, but actually on the agrawl. The black coat with purple trim adorning each one with a pair of daggers. Uh, I suppose it's time to get... Uh get my druid friend up on my back so I can sprint into danger. Okay. So you just got me off your back? Well, I don't know. Did you get off my back to talk to your plants? No, I never got off your back. I, I stayed on the whole time. Okay. 
So what are we supposed to do with this big shining bright vial now that we've got it? Bring it to the monster. That's a great question, DM. What are we supposed to do with this? Well, if you would have remembered Alanya from your backstory episode. <laughs> so hold up, hold up. Put some salt away. Put some salt away. He can't. He's short. He can't, he can't he count can. the grains of salt. Sorry. <laughs> you just have to hold the light up to it, don't you? Hey, good job. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I just, I, yeah. It just seems too <laughs> easy. It just seems too easy. <coughs> yes. Okay. No, you, you just. You, yes. So, um. I take off at breakneck speeds. Yep. You okay. just have to bring the light to it, and it that's that's all it takes. Mind you, you are 80 feet away from this creature, so you can reach this creature within your movement speed. Yes, two movements. Correct. Do you? Yes. I'm going to hold the jar up, like, really high, like, going, ah, like, the whole way. <laughs> I, and what I'm imagining is Gandalf with his staff alight running down the hill with a massive army following. <laughs> Nonsense. The British are coming. The British are coming. Okay. Humval, you take off with Alanya on your back, running, dodging, leaping over logs, and you see the agrawl, and it is trained on something beyond it. And you just continue to run, continue to run, continue to run, and you see its darkness just suddenly envelop you as you enter into it. Alanya, you hold up the drought of daylight, and everything is dark. And then Cruz, and all of you guys, who they apparently have no idea who you are, looking at you, NPCs, uh, suddenly see the darkness around the Agrawl explode and shatter out. Left around you two are these writhing tendrils that are just curling in and around of this wrinkled gray flesh. And you see those tendrilled, fingernailed end ends just kind of moving in and out around you in clear view now. You are in like a spaghetti of death, practically, except this time you're able to see three things. One, its two eyes are actually the ends of two tendrils that immediately shy away from the light as far as the two can go. They lead down to a lump that you can imagine is a head or mouth of sorts as its maw kind of sucks inward a little bit away from it. And then leading now to a secondary lump seems to be the rest of the body, which kind of moves around like a snake after it eaten something large. And you just see these bits and pieces moving in and around you as it tries to expand out to escape the light within it. The darkness completely banished from it. Which leads to Alanya. I'm gonna cut its head off. Okay, uh, what are you using to cut its head off? Your spear? I got a knife. Oh yeah, my spear, yeah, boom. I'm using my spear to cut its head off. A uh, roll to hit. I better get one lucky roll in tonight. I'm gonna be so upset. But what, 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 are you, what are you speaking at? The mount for the eye things connect. Yes, let's it's, 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 it's start with there. Let's start with there. Those are disgusting. <laughs> no, you get them with the head. You can do what you will with it after. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to touch any bit of this. Maybe you could make like you could make a ball like on a string attachment, bounce it on your hand repeatedly, really fast. I, I don't want to touch this. Why are we still standing here? It is defeated. No. <laughs> Hold on. I'm looking for dexterity. Okay, dexterity is plus two. <laughs> okay, roll the hit. <laughs> Eight. <laughs> It's still a tendricly mess, so it's kind of still hard to hit. You're just swinging wildly around at it, but can't find purchase. Tendricly mess on the ground, sir? On the ground, kind of in a dome around you. It seems like this creature was literally just like a floating mass. Sinew, practically. Is it, is it blinded by light? Completely. Well, I, I did say that she has advantage then. Oh, yes, no. Uh, you can roll again with advantage because it is blinded right now. <laughs> like, thoroughly. Okay, so that that was a nine. Does not hit. I so. have the worst luck with the dice! Okay, now comes the agrawl of which it is now running as fast as it can, of which now it has no <laughs> levitation powers what? and is now just on the ground and it moves 10 feet to your left. 
as it is flopping over and over and over again on itself like a mass of intestines just <laughs> trying to get away. Attack of opportunity? Yes. My hands are currently occupied, but I do have the claws in my feet. You can just drop me. I Go for it. You. This is Go important. for it. This is an important thing. You can just drop me. It's okay. I will drop you later. <laughs> You're the one holding the vial. You don't need to make any sudden mo- mo- movements such as being Oh, dropped. yeah, that's true. Don't do that, Ben. Uh, that. It is blind. Yes. I will roll the advantage. <gasps> and it is blind, so it does have sneak attack. Um, does a 16 hit? A 16 most certainly hits. All right, am I getting sneak attack to this? Uh, yes, you are. Okie doke. Uh, seven points from my from my toe bean claws. Okay. And then ten from the sneak attack. Uh, Sixteen. Give me a sec. Uh, and then ten for the the claws. Yep. Okay. Uh, you would see as well this now line of people on the other side all of them exact replicas of one another and you see one of them from the middle reach up stab down and shank the creature as it slithers by as well like it's trying to squirm away and Humbal just puts a foot on it and it just continues to claw it as it tries to crawl away yep like a cat with a a mouse that's trying to run which now leads to Walter as this creature looks like it is just falling apart now. Can Walter attack and like bite it? Walter is 80 feet away, so he He's can He's still way dash. back there? Nobody Yes, can. he is. <laughs> He's not fast. He can't keep up. <laughs> I wish he wasn't so stubborn. He would have hitched a ride. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> I offered once. And this, is where, this is where Walter learns humble, to be humble. <laughs> yes. Uh, Walter flees up to the Agral, but can do nothing but watch. He just falls over, just tired, done. <laughs> Does Gaskar go now? Uh, yes, it is Gaskar's turn. How far away am I? You are 20 feet. <laughs> okay. I run up on it with and pull out my shadow glass dagger. And I, I seek to stab it in and give it a twist. Roll to hit. That will be a 22. That'll hit. All right. So it's 2d4 plus three. Oh, nice. This is max damage. So that is uh, 11 points of damage. Uh, it is so close to death. Seriously? It's just... Uh, how far away am I from it? Uh, you are 30 feet. Then I am going to swoop in and attack. Okay, roll the hit. Use the, use the sword. It's got timber. Not on it. Does an 18 hit? Okay. An 18 hits. Do I need to roll a percentile? Nope. It is it is no longer shrouded. Uh eight plus six plus fourteen. Bruise flying up, barely coming back from the brink of death. You see you see an opening to finish the Igral. I am just going to slam my axe down on its neck, severing its head. The whole body contorts and writhes like a snake who has lost its head. But as the head falls to the ground, its eyes turn in on each other and then fall limp. As you all have now slain the Igral, said Crad. Yay! I'm going to walk up to the body and start just kind of getting ready to get the heart out. Well, we'll assist you. Bruce you. will fall down on his back, breathing hard. And all he's going to say is, I need a beer. But seriously, who are you guys? Uh, are you saying it to the duplicates? Yeah, the, the weird clones. As one of them steps up out from the duplicate line, the others fade away. Just... 
Well, I. And he flips back the hood. Edward Ludicius. Do I recognize this fool at all? You have no idea who the heck okay, cool. this is. Cool. Who? Edward Ludicius. 